You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Jackson versus Eland. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Jackson, you petitioned the court for a DNA test because you believe the defendant, Ms. Eland, has committed paternity fraud by claiming you fathered her two-year-old daughter, Jemiah. Yes, Your Honor. You say you found out about Jemiah only one year ago, and that's why you vehemently deny being her father. Yes, Is that Aunt. correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Elan, you say Mr. Jackson is a liar. Yes, ma'am. Who's denying your daughter so he can avoid responsibility. Yes, Your Honor. You are positive he's the only person who can be the father, and the DNA results will prove it today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Jackson, why do you believe Ms. Elan has committed paternity fraud? Because, Your Honor, I found out about this child a whole year ago. A year ago. And so, what does that have to do with a paternity fraud? Because if this is my child, I want to be in my child's life. You're supposed to let somebody know. Aaliyah picked up and took off. Never heard from her, then she started playing Facebook games. <laughs> Sending me messages through Facebook, yeah. then she would block me. Sending me messages, then block me, using other people's names. It's just the game just kept going on and on. I, I... So you think this is a game? Yeah. It's, Are you it's... playing games, Miss Elan? No, no, yes, y'all, no, I'm not playing yes, games. Yes, yes, no, yes. he blocked me on Facebook. Yes, he changed his phone number and everything. Yeah. I actually yes, have I proof. Yes, he I did. He went ghost on me once I told him I was pregnant. He found out. He went ghost on me. I never heard from Yana. him again. I never She's... heard from him until a year later when I made a fake page on Facebook telling him about it. Well, it sounds like you're both playing games. Yana. Take me back to the nature of this relationship. How did you meet? Um, I was at work. I was leaving. I got off work. She was next door from my job as a public aid office place, and she was coming out of there. And I said, hey, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Let me talk to you, get your number, whatever. She said, sure. She wrote the number down. I said, where you headed to? She said, I'm going home. I said, okay, the bus stop is that way. Let me walk you to the bus stop. I walked the lead to the bus stop. She gave me the number. Right after that, I called her. She answered the phone. That night, me and Leah had sex on the back porch. <laughs> wow. Okay. That same Come correct. Night. Come correct. We didn't have sex on the back porch. Yes, Come we correct. did, Aaliyah. That uh, same night. Two weeks night. later, we had sex in your that car. That same night. Uh, we Aaliyah had was sex the in the back of your car. That's where it we had sex. It was on the back porch. And right after that, the car. next day, we kept having sex in my car. We... Exactly. We kept having sex in your car, right, not in the back right. porch. Right, So what that tells you? What that tells you right there? We keep having sex in the car. So you're in a sexual relationship. Was that it? That's Were you it. boyfriend and girlfriend? Or no. Was, this was just... No, this was just a sexual relationship with no commitment. No she, commitment at all. Gosh, she's lying. We no commitment. We wasn't in a relationship. It was just sex-wise. Every time he called my phone, it's sex-wise. That's and you all say you were in a relationship, Mr. Relationship Jackson. We wasn't it. in no relationship. We had no, we had no strings you. attached. And Yana. it's just sex in a car. She's a jump off. No she's reason, a jump no off. I'm a jump off. Wait easy, a minute. Easy, I'm a jump easy, off, but you kept coming back to order. Let's get some order. No. Listen, now, just a minute ago, Mr. Jackson, you testified that you were in a relationship. Right. Now you're saying she's a jump off. In my mind, to be honest with you, I thought we was together. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. So I tell thought we the together. truth. Thought and we shame the devil. Don't get in here and get your feelings hurt and I'll start lying. I thought we was you together. Said, <laughs> you said I thought we were in a relationship because I was doing things for her and you thought you were building something. Yes, you're right, Your Honor. And yes. honestly, Ms. Elan, I, I'm glad that it, he at least thought that because if you just walking out of the house sleeping with men in cars every single day, day after day, and they just pull off and leave, I, there's got to be more to do than that. See, it's just him. That him, man, he and him, me and him, that, it was just him. I was just was messing around with him. Else. But you stay she calling my phone, else. calling me. Leah, who, explain the guy on the back porch. Who's that guy on the back porch? Wait, I thought you was on, on the back, back porch. porch. Oh, my God, yeah. thank you. Two guys oh, on the back porch. Wow, wow. There were two guys on the back porch. Me and the mystery man. <laughs> Tell me I was on the back porch. Oh, wow. The guy will no, grill me. You're just Look jealous. You're just a jealous person. If you see someone else around, you think that I'm messing with somebody. No, that whole time, we were just having sex. my feelings at that time when me and you started talking. I wasn't even in my feelings at that time. You're making Mr. A fool Jackson, of yes, I want to know why do you feel she is not telling the truth? What do you know about the man on the back porch? Thank her you. Her family member. Thank you. Let me know Thank you. who the guy was. I asked her. I said, who is this guy? She says, Aaliyah. He boyfriend. don't even talk to my family member. When he comes over, he don't even... Most he do is hey. And that's about it. It's me going out there, door, going down nah, the stairs nah. with him. They was letting that's me come in the it. house. That's they stopped about it. all of that. I was coming in the house. 
How you gonna you come in the house? You stepped foot in that house one time. After that, it was just car action. Stop letting me come That's in. About I started getting hallway action. service. That's I started what it was getting about. hallway service. Car. Hallway service. Hallway service. I started getting hallway service. What's hallway service? Oh, no, service. you're not coming in no more. We're gonna do something. It's gonna be in the hallway. <laughs> this man stepped foot in this house one time. Man. Wait he a minute. I have never heard of that. Go from the back porch to the car hilarious. to the hallway. It was hallway service. Hold on. I think we're getting closer to trying to understand this. So, oh. was it, you believe because you weren't on the back porch anymore, somebody else was? Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. When I came, he was on the back porch. So now I'm in a hallway now talking to Aaliyah. No more back porch action. Now it's the hallway. <laughs> and so you assume she has having a relationship with this other guy? Yes, yes. Yana, she had, I mean, who ups and take off on a baby? Who ups and take off with a child? If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So when did she disappear? I don't understand this part. Um, I started coming over there, blowing the horn. Her family come to the window. She's not here. She's gone. Okay, I'll leave. Come back the next day. Leah's not here. She's gone. She always gone. Now, the clock start ticking, and she with another guy. Okay. Come to the house, blow again. Bye bye, Lee up there. Now, she gone. Look. She on the side of the window, moving the curves, looking. I'm that she go right there. She yeah, gone. Because I don't want to be bothered with you. My point is that because it was another because man upstairs. Because you already with. called it That's with. Why. Look, you called me to come out and have sex. Well, if I don't want to have it's sex, never a you, get upset. Now, it's a you now. get upset. You don't come there, Mr. Jackson. So yes, it was Yana. your feeling that she was up there with another man, yes, and Yana. that's why you could see her peeking out the curtain. Yes, Yana. But they were telling you she wasn't home. Yeah, she wasn't home. One more week, Yana. I came. She's gone. She don't live here no more. Um, damn, she don't live here no more. Okay, cool. She moved. Guess she called it off and let me know. Leave it alone. Man of my business. One day, headed to the bus stop, see a woman that I know. So familiar. Oh, look at her. So I know you from somewhere. Yeah. I'm uh, Leah's family member. Okay. By the way, uh, Leah had your baby. That baby looked just like you. Oh. What? I say what? Uh, Leah had a baby? <laughs> yeah, boy, that baby looked just like you. How old was the baby? Already one. Walking and talking. <laughs> So you've never heard about the pregnancy and you've never heard about the birth. You, you don't know a thing about this baby. Don't know nothing about That's a lie. the baby. That's a lie. That's a lie. He heard about it because I told him I do actually have proof. I do have a timeline of every time he disappeared when I did tell him that I was pregnant. It is, if I can show. You have Either proof. You're even, yes. you, I, know, I have it here. Yeah, I have Please my step over. So, November 15th, 2015, I found out that I was pregnant. How did I know? Because I missed my menstrual period. When I went to the hospital, it confirmed that I was pregnant. I called him and told him he was excited. He come see me that night, the same day, November 15th. He came to see me. We were sitting in the car. I was talking to him. I mentioned something about I'm hungry. She said, okay, he'll be back. Here it is, 30 minutes passed by, he never came. An hour passed by, he never came. Three hours I'm passed by, he never came. Where'd he go? He done disappeared. He ain't see him no more. Here this come. So he ghosted you. He gone. He gone for them a matter of years. He gone. This is, remind you, this is back in 2015. Here it is. Here come July 8th. I have her. I, I never stopped searching for him. Kept looking for him. Phone kept ringing, 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 ringing. This number you call had been disconnected. Oh, okay. He gone again. I still can't find him. A couple months before August 6th, I made a fake Facebook page. That's how I got in contact with him. And I inboxed him and I took a picture of her. And I said, you know, your daughter's two years old. It's time for you to be her father. He came and saw her. He kept her for two hours, took her to the park to meet his other family members. Two hours later, he brought her back and told me he'll be back to come see her again. Here it is. I never heard from him. He done left again. Ghosted another time. He left again. No. You can step back to the podium. So it sounds like from her testimony, Miss Elon was trying to find you, Mr. Jackson. Where were you? She will reach out to me on Facebook, Yana. The minute I say something back, deactivate the page, block me, come back three months later, um, can you help get her some pampers or some? Because he don't want me bothering him. He don't want nothing to do with my child. He don't want to be involved with her. Because if he did, every time I reached out to him, he would have came out and he would have, he would have stepped up. He's less of a man to keep sitting here acting like this ain't his daughter. He's sitting here walking around with his head, his head held high. But what are you doing? 
She sitting here, she's two years old. She says that, that what do mama supposed to say? I can't give her no answer. And how does that feel as a mother to have to say, it's you emotional, say I don't you know, have anything to say? I don't have anything to say because I can't explain it to her. You know, I can't like break it down to her because she's two years old, but I can't explain it when she's older. But it made me feel sad. I do sometimes grab my baby, I cry. That's what I do because I'm very emotional. And for her to sit here and ask me about her dad, that, that, that's a hurtful feeling, it is. It's a hurtful feeling, a hurtful feeling. Uh. That was for her first birthday. He was nowhere to be found. All of these moments he's missing. He missed every Stay moment. in one stable he spot. Stop going from house missed, to house. Maybe I'll missed, find you. Look, okay, if somebody has to move out their apartment, that means they have to move. So where do you think I'm supposed to go? I, I went back to my mom's house. With no compass in I my went hand back looking to for my her. mom's house. Look, I tried to look for you. I tried to look for you. You know where to look for her. You know where to look for her. You know where to look for her. Listen, listen. The moment that you were told that you have a baby, like a little girl in the world that could potentially be yours, even if you don't know for sure. Let's be clear. If it was my daddy, I do want him to have that compass looking for me. That's what daddies do. And then another news flash is when a child doesn't have a father in their life and the mother is trying to make ends meet on their own, then sometimes the home is not stable. As soon as you start telling me she moving all over the place, that lets me know this child and this mother is alone and they're, they're at risk. I am. And I no, do no, talk house to house because I don't, have, I don't have a stable, a stable home. And I can see that makes you emotional. No, no, yeah, no. it do. I don't want him to do is step up in me and her life. Should no, should no girl be without her father. I didn't have mine, so she shouldn't go without hers. That's all I want is for him to be in her life. That's it. I don't want no money. I don't want you to buy nothing because guess what? I can't. I, you know, if I do have money, I can support my kids. All I want you to do is spend time with her and let her know that you her father and be in her life. That's it. That's all. Nothing more, I have nothing less. no problem less. with doing that if you stay stable. Stay stop, stable. Yeah, stop playing okay. all these games. If you wear my shoes and you don't have that good support, what do you think? I'm mm. in, in, anywhere I go, I still When you do it that, you don't have time to send a postcard, Mr. Jackson. You just trying to stay alive. You're just trying to keep your children fed. And I'm not saying it's your fault because this is why this courtroom exists. Because people get in their feelings, denial sets in. And at the end of the day, I always tell people, sex is not, it's not a game. You don't play at this thing. We're making people, people, people. Right. And I know if this child ends up being your biological child, and I don't know if she is or she isn't, truly, there is some real doubt in this case. But I know one thing, if you find out today that she is, I know you're not gonna sit and look at a beautiful, innocent little girl and say, I'm not gonna be having no compass looking north, south, east, and west for you, because then I'm gonna have to come up off this bench. <laughs> I, just, I just need to know. I'm tired of the game. And on the flip side, Miss Elon, you gotta recognize the part you play in this. Why is it you never told him? I told him the day when I You're found saying out. that you did tell him that day I and you him. feel like he, he ghosted you. She was having sex with another man, too. She was having sex with another man, too. That's all I needed to hear. You discovered that she may still be intimate with an ex. Yes. That's the part that we can't gloss over because that's the very part that led to the doubt. So did you say that at an angle or was it the truth? Oh, at an angle, baby. Oh, a lot of people say stuff at an angle. Yeah. You say stuff at an angle. That's you, you did the same that's thing. That's something you would look, tell somebody look, and play. Look, I had look, sex with look, another you man. You did the same thing. Look, then what the are you pop doing? Up. What are you doing? Sneaking off with me and then going back to your wife. So what is the difference? Ain't nothing. What is the difference? You married. So hold on. This was a real fun fact that was left out of earlier testimony. <laughs> well, now we know. Now we know. That was the fill in the blank moment, honey. The blank got filled in. Because I kept wondering, what in the world is this relationship? I don't understand this. We know what's going on now. All right. So we got that level of understanding. Let's get the true and complete level of understanding. Jerome, let's get the results. <laughs> Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Jackson versus Eland, when it comes to two-year-old Jemiah Eland, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jackson, you are the father. <laughs> <laughs>
Woo! <laughs> you are the father. That's your beautiful little girl. <laughs> Two years old and has no relationship with her daddy. Out of everything that was said, all the testimony I heard, the ghosting, the this, whatever it was, the testimony that touched my heart the most is when you said she asked where her daddy is. And I don't know what to say because I felt, I thought that was so real. And that's what we do in this courtroom. We, we, we get down to the real deal. The nitty gritty, the ugly. It ain't nothing pretty in this courtroom. This is a place where we sort out the ugly stuff, the dirty laundry that we all have. You hear me? Yes. So we know now. And this little girl is yours. And I'm hoping now that you will change that testimony where you said you ain't gonna get no compass looking for nobody. Now you need to find her. You need to raise her. You need to be there for her. And she should never have to look for you again. Do you understand me? Yes. All right. I wish you all the very best. Court is adjourned.